Hello and welcome to your quick news, current event, and stimulus update. So today we have new senators being sworn in. How badly do we need an economic stimulus? Much more on that later. Biden announces his Treasury Secretary nominee. Vaccine scams are popping up all over. We're going to talk about what you can do to avoid them. Then to send you into the midweek, I'm going to end off with those rapid fire current events. So crush that like button, subscribe, do all the things to help the YouTube algorithm, and let's jump right into it. Senator-elect Mark Kelly will be sworn into the Senate on Wednesday. This leaves the Senate 52 to 48 in favor of the GOP. Although we already knew the Senate majority comes down to Georgia, having Mark Kelly confirmed as a Democrat this week causes some issues for the GOP. Trump's Federal Reserve nominee, Judy Shelton, has been receiving some pushback from Senate Republicans. So adding Mark Kelly to the mix only decreases the chance of Shelton being approved. Moving on, top economists urge for stimulus and the need for it right now. And just about every citizen also urges for it. But the Economic Policy Institute recommends, quote, Congress provide debt finance fiscal support of $2 trillion between now and the middle of 2022, then continue support on the order of $500 billion annually between then and the end of 2024, then with a slow phase out of aid thereafter. Josh Bivens explains that this plan needs to first stop the economic bleeding and then repair the aspects that have been rotted away in order to rebuild a resilient economy. You know, perhaps Joe Biden's nominee for Treasury Secretary can aid in some bipartisan discussion. Janet Yellen is receiving praise from all sides and all parties with an impressive work record. If confirmed by the Senate, Yellen would be the first person to chair the Fed, lead the Treasury Department, and serve as chairwoman of the White House Council of Economic Advisors. I just hope she doesn't become another part of the machine, just another cog, and can actually implement some change and support and just get things done. From here, Homeland Security warns against any websites or people claiming to have stimulus checks or virus cures. In fact, more than 1,000 websites have been taken down daily during the pandemic in the U.S. alone. So get ready for another round of new scams with the vaccines coming out. If you get a text or email that says something like, claim your $1,200 stimulus check now or get your vaccine here, sign up here, ignore them and don't click the links. Experts say there are no approved vaccines as of right now. And they're warning that you should only receive vaccines from a licensed medical clinic. Seems obvious, but people do it. Until then, stay away from miracle cures, emails, texts, and scam callers. If it seems too good to be true, it most likely is. Up next, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin are set to hold a testimony today. These two will talk about the $455 billion in remaining funding from the CARES Act that was set to go to the Main Street Lending Program. Powell is expected to chat about the need for the Main Street Lending Program to continue, where Mnuchin will argue that the funds are better spent elsewhere. Here's how the situation works. This funding had a set deadline for the end of the year, by which if the funds were not spent, they would have to be returned from the Fed. There is $455 billion sitting there right now, enough for two $1,200 stimulus checks for every single person eligible. Seriously, Mnuchin believes that the funds will be better used if redirected from the Main Street Lending Program to instead go to help small businesses and working Americans through a smaller, more targeted relief bill. Now, let's get into those current events. Starting off, SpaceX's new Starship prototype SN8 is expected to do its first test launch this week. The goal of the ship in later models is to eventually launch missions with as many as 100 people at a time to the moon and to Mars. But as of right now, Elon Musk is giving this prototype a one in three chance in landing back on Earth intact. They're still testing things out. Moving on, Pfizer's first shipment of vaccines landed in Chicago last week. If approved, these vaccines could be dispersed to the people in just a few short weeks. And U.S. stock futures rose on Monday night after the S&P 500's best performing month since January 1987. In fact, if you want a piece of that action, use the link in my description to get two completely free stocks through Webull, and actually Webull just started a new promotion where if you sign up using my link and deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks. I'll get two free stocks. You'll be helping out this channel. And if you invite a friend of yours, you will get another two free stocks. So it's worth checking out free money. So that's it for today. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.